Welcome student. Let's learn about different metric and customary units and also their conversions. Now let's look at the units which is used to measure mass and weight. First is kilogram, then it is grams, then metric ton and then pound. We know that one kilogram is equals to thousand grams and 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligrams and 1 metric ton is equals to 2204 pounds also 1 metric ton is equals to 1000 kilograms and 1 pound is equals to 16 ounces so these are the different units which we use to measure mass and weight and these are the conversion formulas Now let's learn how to do conversion. For this let's take an example. Suppose you have to convert 5 kilograms to grams. Now firstly we obtain the relation between grams and kilograms. We are aware that 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams. Now after this we will construct a fraction equal to 1 by writing equation with desired unit on top and given unit on bottom. So we get 1 is equals to 1000 grams over 1 kg. Now to find the number of grams in 5 kilograms we will simply multiply this fraction by 5. So finally we reach 5000 grams. So that means there are 5000 grams in 5 kilograms. Now let's learn about chain conversions. For this let's take an example. We need to convert 5000 grams to metric ton. And we are aware that 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams while 1 ton is equals to 1000 kilograms. For this first of all construct a fraction equal to 1 by writing the equation with desired unit on top and given unit on bottom. So for 1 kg equals to 1000 grams we get now 1 is equals to 1 kg over 1000 grams. While for 1 ton equals to 1000 kilograms we get 1 equals to 1 ton over 1000 kilograms. Simply now multiply this fraction by 5000. So we get 5000 grams times 1 kilogram over 1000 grams times 1 ton over 1000 kilograms which is equals to 0 0.005 tons. So we can say that 5000 grams is equals to 0 0.005 tons. Now let's look at one more example for this. We need to convert 12 ounces to kilograms. And we are aware that 1 pound is equals to 16 ounces and 1000 kilograms is equals to 2204 pounds. So first of all write a fraction equal to 1 by writing the equation with desired unit on top and given unit on bottom. So for 1 pound equals to 16 ounces we can write 1 equals to 1 pound over 16 ounces. While for 1000 kilograms equals to 2204 pounds we can write down 1 is equals to 1000 kilograms over 2204 pounds. Now we need to basically convert 12 ounces to kilograms. So simply multiply the 12 with these two fractions. So we finally reach 0 0.3402 kilograms. So we can say that 12 ounces is equals to 0 0.3402 kilograms. Now let's look at different units used to measure the length. 
first is kilometers then centimeters then meters yards miles inches and foot we know that one kilometer is equals to thousand meters while one centimeter is equals to hundred millimeters one meter is equals to hundred centimeters one yard is equals to three feet while one mile is equals to one thousand seven hundred sixty yards also one mile is equals to one point six one kilometers and one inch is equals to twenty five millimeters and finally one foot is equals to twelve inches so always remember this conversion formulas to solve the problems now let's look at different units which we use to measure capacity we have kiloliter liter gallon quart pint and cup and we are aware that one kiloliter is equals to thousand liters while one liter is equals to four point two three cup one gallon is equals to four quart one quart is equals to two pint while one pint is equals to two cups and one cup is equals to eight ounces so always remember this conversion formula to solve the problems now let's see what we will do when we have compound units for example we need to convert miles per hour to kilometers per hour or miles per hour to feet per hour then we will use the same technique of general form of chaining for this now let's understand this with the help of this example in this example we need to convert 2 miles per hour to kilometers per hour and we are aware that 1 mile is equals to 1.61 kilometer so obtain a fraction equal to 1 by writing equation with desired unit on top and given unit on bottom so we get 1 is equals to 1.61 kilometer over 1 mile now we can write 2 miles per hour as 2 mile over 1 hour. Now to convert this into kilometer per hour, multiply this 2 mile over 1 hour by 1.61 kilometer over 1 mile. We simply get 3.22 kilometer over 1 hour. Hence 2 miles per hour is equals to 3.22 two to kilometer per hour now let's look at two different units which we use to measure temperature first is degree Celsius and the second is degree Fahrenheit and there is a relation between degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit that is 0 degree Celsius means 32 degree Fahrenheit we also know that water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius and boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Now let's learn how to convert these temperatures. First of all, we need to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then we use this relation. That is, degree Fahrenheit is equals to 1.8 times degree Celsius plus 32. Well, if we need to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius, we use this relation. That is, degree Celsius is equals to 32 less than degree Fahrenheit times 0 0.55. Now let's consider an example for this. Here we need to convert 37 degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. And we know that Fahrenheit is equals to 1.8 times Celsius scale plus 32. Simply plug in the Celsius scale as 37. And we get the Fahrenheit degree as 98.6. So that means 37 degree Celsius means 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. 
So these were few conversions. With this we come to the end of this session. Goodbye and see you later.